If you're like most people, you're probably feeling a little hopeless about climate change and the damage we've done to our planet. Well, now there's a new way to look at climate change and how to deal with it that might just turn that hopelessness into hope. I'm Tony Coote, founder of the Maloon Institute. Climate change as we know it is all about too much carbon in our atmosphere. But carbon is not our enemy, it's the building block of life. Everything alive is made of it, even us. The problem and the solution are simply a matter of balance. Let's step back and look at the five pools where carbon is stored on planet Earth. Starting about 500 million years ago, when plants first appeared on land, carbon began to cycle in an amazing balance between these pools, a balance that allowed for life as we know it to evolve. Then one life, that would be us, figured out how to extract carbon from the fossil pool. We've been burning it for energy, putting it into play, disrupting that balance. We've actually moved billions of tonnes of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which is heating up the planet and destabilising our climate. The oceans have absorbed a lot of this excess carbon, throwing off the ocean's balance, resulting in ocean acidification and accelerating a mass extinction of sea life. The big question is where do we put this excess carbon to get the cycle back in balance? The good news is that the answer is literally right under our feet. It's the soil. Plants using sunlight and water naturally perform photosynthesis. They pull carbon from the air and turn it into carbohydrates, sugars. Then they pump some of these sugars down through the roots to feed microorganisms who use that carbon to build healthy soil. Voila! Carbon moves, the plants pump it in, and the soil stores it. Nature's living technology is amazing. Together with other regenerative practices, like the way we till our soil, planting trees and cover crops, and planned grazing, we can build and retain billions of tonnes of soil carbon. Unlike more carbon in the atmosphere, more carbon in the ground is good for us. It makes healthy soil, which is nutrient rich and full of life, and holds way more water. This means more nutritious food and crops that are more resilient in the face of drought. That's good news for farmers, families, and everyone who eats. Remember this, the way we manage our landscape, grow our food, fibre and fuel, either puts carbon into our atmosphere or pulls it down into the ground. The Maloon Institute is leading this change to bank water in the landscape, regenerating the soil, resulting in sustainable agriculture that benefits society. Our health, the health of our soils and the health of our planet are one in the same.